I'd like to introduce you all to the modern condition with this video showing women in what appears to be some kind of Home Depot or Lowe's dancing for the camera. This is an ongoing phenomenon. Let me tell you a story. I, I remember several years ago, I look out my front door and I see some girl standing in the middle of the street. And this is a dead, this is a dead end street. It, it dead ends. There's like wood preserves or something. And she's like doing this thing where she's going like this or whatever. And then I'm like, what? What's she doing? Is she she dancing in the middle of the street? And then I'm like, oh, there's a there's a phone in the mailbox. She's filming herself dancing in the street, and my house is in the background. So I wonder if anyone could find that video. Check this video. Out. Let's play it. Let's go. Yeah, look at that. Someone film. <laughs> okay, for those that are listening, she's doing this crazy dance as people walk around with grocery with shopping carts. You can see this other woman like going back and forth filming her. Oh man, it's just, oh, it's so cringe. So cringe, dude. This is the modern condition. People, <laughs> okay, for those that are listening, you're, you're, really, you're really missing out. But I got, a, I got a better one for you. Both of these tweets from our, our good friends over at Clown World on Twitter. I'm a big fan. They got like a million followers now. It's crazy. Clown World, good job. At Clown World underscore. Check this one out. It says, commuting home just got 10 times worse. And there's literally just some woman twerking in the middle of the road. Like some, some morbidly obese woman is just twerking in the middle. Like, what, what is she doing? Probably filming. Probably filming. Probably, probably filming. Take a look at this story and then let's talk about it. Ethan Klein apologizes to QT Cinderella for mocking deep fake situation. I don't know nothing about no Ethan Klein and mocking anybody, and I don't really care. But the deep fake situation is really interesting because there's a couple stories here. I want to talk to you about where we're going as a society with like just things like this. Man, uh, uh, just so insufferable. Cringe. All right, here we go. I'm on Instagram, right? And y'all have maybe seen this. And you, you click the little uh, magnifying glass, little search thing, and it gives you a whole bunch of recommended posts. Now, usually what I get is uh, skateboarding, rollerblading, biking, scooting. And as of recently, it's been just like nothing but highlight reels of old famous poker games. And it's just like, dude, I have seen that clip a hundred times. I get it. He should have folded the floss. Been watching. It's just sending me all this poker stuff for some reason. That's probably why I started playing it. That's what happens. I am so easily influenced by Instagram. I kid you not. The UFO, I bought it because I got an ad on Instagram. Started rollerblading because Instagram started sending me a bunch of rollerblade videos. And I'm like, that looks like fun. I'll try that. Then I start getting sent all these poker videos. And I'm like, oh, I kind of want to play hold them. So now I'm doing that. But here's what I get sent. Because I'm a guy. It sends me pictures of women doing things like this. You know, dancing and strutting around and whatever, looking like they're sick. And um, I noticed eventually, I, I don't don't click on them. I, I, I don't care. I'm like, I, I have a girlfriend and... There's, there's nothing interesting to me about a picture of a woman. I can see it already. This is the crazy thing. This is what you need to understand. You send me a video and I can see a guy doing a 360 flip on a skateboard. I go, I'd like to see that video. So I press on it. And then I see a dude tray flip down a big stair set. I'm like, whoa, you know, where's my little skateboard at? Oh, here it is. Little tray flip, right? You guys like, whoa, flips underneath me. Because that was a very flip, by the way. And um, so I click those. When I go back to the feed, it'll show me pictures of women that I don't need to click because I can literally already see the pictures of those women. I don't linger on them or anything like that. The idea is supposed, supposed to be that if you click on a video, you told the algorithm you like it. And if you linger on it, it means you really like it. But I got to tell you, I think it's probably just like the, Insta the, the algorithm is so strong that men want to see women. They'll keep sending dudes women, even if you're not interacting with them. Well, I noticed one day, I had to click on one. Why? It looked weird. It looked kind of off. There was something about it. I said, this person's got a big head, big eyes, and a thin body. Uh, something doesn't look right. So I, I, I clicked on it. And sure enough, you can see weird warped edges. I'm like, holy crap. This is not a real person. Had like 20 something thousand followers. AI generated influencers. This is where we're going. So you want to get in on the business, baby. You don't got to go into a Home Depot and start dancing and throwing your hips around. You go on one of these, you go on Lenza or whatever. You make an AI generated person who's not real and you keep generating images of them that are scantily clad and appealing. Who needs an actual thought when you can have a deep fake thought that ain't nobody going to get mad about? You know, if you're, if, if, if a woman, like these women, 
Now, the reason I brought up the, the QT Cinderella thing, the deep fake stuff, is I think this is related to the, uh, she's talking about the deep porn, I guess. She says, I want to scream, stop. Everybody effing stop. Stop spreading it. Stop advertising it. Stop. Being seen naked against your will should not be a part of this job. Thank you to all the male internet journalists reporting on the issue, effing losers. It's the funny thing about drama. The reporting on it makes it big, makes it famous. Now, uh, I don't know QT Cinderella. I'm sure it's a horrible thing, and I'm sorry that it's happened to her. But sorry, man, this, this is really, it's really important to talk about if we're going to try and stop it. And we're going we're gonna to try and figure out how we can navigate this. What's basically happened now is take a real person's face, put it on the body of a different person who did porn. Boom. Now you've got fake porn. But you don't even need a real person. You can AI, you can deep fake generate a fake person and make fake porn. Why even make anything real anymore? You know, QT Cinderella is upset about this, and I totally uh, understand why. Why? You don't even need to do it. Well, people fantasize about humans they know. But eventually what's going to happen is, I'll tell you this. We are very, very close to it. I want you to listen. You're watching me. Many of you have met me in person. If you hang out at the casino, uh, at the poker tables, you might see me there on the weekends. I've been there the past like four. It's been fun. And uh, well, I say that because a handful of people have been like, oh, man, they've, they've played against me and we've had fun. And uh, some have taken my money. I've taken some of their money. Had a good time. But eventually you're going to be watching a YouTube video and there's going to be a, a guy and his name's going to be like, you know, Rick, you know, uh, Rick Kaminsky. There you go. There's his name. And he's going to be saying stuff like Joe Biden, man. I tell you, this guy has no idea what he's talking about. And then you're going to find out it's an AI generated deep fake face. And the person and the voice isn't real either. You're not going to know who this person really is. You're going to think you know who they are. It's a fascinating thing to me about this whole idea of doxing, right? There have been a lot of pro uh, prominent personalities who have been doxed. Let's talk about uh, uh, Carl Benjamin, for instance. He started off as Sargon of Akkad. Nobody knew who he was. He didn't show his face. He just talked with a British accent. But he gave away clues as to where he might be and how he, his posting frequency. And eventually people doxed him. I'm not sure exactly what happened, but they doxed him. Now, what would happen if instead of using his real voice and posting on his typical schedule, it was a deep fake or not even a deep fake, an AI generated person with an AI manipulated voice. So you can record yourself talking and then press render and it changes your appearance. People do this. There have been women, old women who use filters to make themselves look young. They've been busted when the filter dropped and all of a sudden people realize that that's a 50 year old woman. There are even people, some of the biggest uh, uh, super chatted channels, VTubers, anime women going hee hee ha ha and playing video games. And it's some big fat dude doing it. But people are giving them money. So I see these posts on Instagram. And, you know, I, we don't need humans to do this anymore. Here's what you do. A guy will make a bunch of different AI women, keep the, the code parameters for generating the woman, Make a bunch of different photos. In fact, you could probably in one single shot, I'll tell you what, auto generate 10,000 pictures of a fake woman in different positions and then just schedule them to upload every day at 10, 2, and 6 or something like that. And then just walk away and ignore it. And then eventually, what will happen? You come back in six months and you've got a million followers and tons of comments and everyone's saying like, ooh, ooh I want to be friends. And then all you got to do is drop in an ad for Clorox or whatever and you made 10 grand. That's where we're going. It's kind of scary to think about, especially with Neuralink and VR, what the world will be. We like to think about people living in the metaverse, but what I think it's going to be is people are going to live in their isolated universes. They're going to only work where they have to work. They don't need to interact with each other. Especially if we automate the food process, existence becomes null. You'll go into your pod. You will auto-generate the world you want to live in. You will look at the women you want the auto-generated uh, the world to give you. And you know what? To be completely honest, you could be in it right now. They say we're in a simulation. Well, maybe the simulation is just that. You're in your pod with the bug tube going down your mouth as the world is created exactly as you wanted it. Could be. You might be saying, but dude, my life sucks. Does it? Or in base reality, are you a billionaire who is tired of just the, 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 the strain, the struggle, the fame, the fortune, and you want a humbler, the prince and the pauper, man. 
So maybe you said, you know, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna play this pod video game, you know, on on average mode and be a carpenter, work with my hands. Everybody wants to experience something different. Or maybe you're a 54 year old uh, contractor, the big old pot belly named John. And in base reality, you're a 21-year-old woman who's doing a college program of like the experience of the middle-aged 21st century man. I don't know. I'm just saying the way things are going with all this stuff, we are, we are probably, as a society, we're going insane. Let me just put it that way. I hope you have fun. Enjoy it. I'll leave it there. Next segment's coming up at 8 p.m. over at youtube.com slash Timcast IRL. State of the Union time, baby. Watch party. We'll see you all there. Thanks for hanging out.